Hey guys, it's John, and today we're going to be playing The Binding of Isaac. And uh, this game is relatively new. It's. I uh, can't remember the exact date it came out, but it's a pretty fun game. Uh, it's kind of like an arcade style sort of game, and it's like. Uh, it's more of a twin stick shooter, but it's got more to it than uh, like general twin stick shooters. There's lots of different items and there's lo lots of different like uh, passive abilities and stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. Uh, I, I deleted all my saves, so I don't have anything unlocked anymore just for this. And yeah, so we're gonna have to start off with by playing with Isaac. I'm gonna be using a my keyboard for this. I won't be using my gamepad, so I'm not sure how. I'm not, I've never actually played this game with the gamepad, so I don't know how well it handles with the gamepad. Might try it sometime, but for just now, we're just going to stick with the with the keyboard. And yeah, this is going to be the the first, I'd say, episode. I'm not really sure if this is going to be like a massively long series or anything. But I just felt like playing this game and I felt like making a video for my second channel, so I'm doing both at the same time. Amazing. And people say guys can't multitask. Uh, but anyway, I'll go through some of the things in this game since I'm guessing quite a few of you haven't actually played this game. Uh, but the general story is that you're a baby, and well, you're like a toddler, I guess. And your mother is has locked you in the basement, and you have to go around killing other toddlers and babies and fetuses <laughs> with your tears. So basically, you shoot your tears at them, and yeah, it's a bit of a weird storyline, but the general the actual game itself is actually really fun. But I'm not amazing at this game, but I'd say I'm okay at it, so we'll see what happens. And this is our first item. If you if you look in the top left hand corner, there is a sort of map of this basement. This is the first level of the basement. If you can see on the right hand side of the map, there is a room here that uh, has a lock on it. But we need to find a key to unlock the lock. And in that room is the. what's it called? The shop. And in the shop, you can buy items and stuff like that. And if you look on the left hand side of the map, there is a room that has a yellow crown. That's where all the item rooms are. And if you look where I am just now, this is the boss room. Every level has one boss, and it, some levels can have many bosses, and there's secret rooms around each level. There's a se one secret room on every single level, but you have to find them, otherwise it wouldn't be a secret room, I guess. But there's lots of different items that you can find from... You get an item from killing the boss, you get an item from the item room, but on the first floor, the item room is not locked, and then on every other floor, that item room is locked. So basically after the first floor we're going to need to find some keys because we want to get as many items as we possibly can to stand a chance in the rest of the game. And when you die in this game, unless you have a 1-up, when you die you will have to restart the whole game again. So our first item we got is the spacebar item and that's the crown. Not, not a crown, it's a unicorn horn. And that's kind of like on Super Mario when you get the you get a star on Super Mario, you go invincible and then when you whenever you touch anything it dies. That's the same with this with the unicorn horn and it lasts uh, probably about ten seconds I'm guessing. But our second item that we just got from the I item from the boss, I mean, uh, we got a some a pair of our mother's heels apparently. <laughs> And that gave us a range up. And this here is a, actually a vendor. We can dispense one coin and have a chance of getting some items. We could get some coins back, we could get some health, we could get 
uh, some bombs, I think. And we can get Sparrow Hearts. Uh, a Sparrow Heart is basically... Oh, we got our first key, which means we can uh, unlock the item room on this floor. Oh, we've got another key, which means we can unlock the shop if we wanted to. But I think we're going to keep that second key for the next floor, in case we don't uh, find a key for the item room in the, sec in the next floor, I mean. <coughs> well, I'm, I'm actually talking. Uh, but there's lots of different other there's lots of other things I haven't actually mentioned yet that is in this game and yeah so our main objective just now is just to get as many items as possibly can and then at the end of this sort of game the end game just now is we have to uh, fight our mum <laughs> our mother and here we've got a pill if we press Q we got balls of steel. Uh, pills can sometimes be good and sometimes be bad. Fortun fortunately, there we got a good pill. And if you look in the top right hand corner, we have two extra blue hearts. These are spirit hearts, and spirit hearts can only be regained by gaining a spirit heart, and they're not really that. Well, they are kind of common. But yeah, if we come down here, you can see this rock here. I'm shooting at is actually uh, is actually tinted a little bit. So if we blow this up, we should be able to get some spirit hearts from this and one normal heart. But I'm pretty sure I saw another tinted rock in another rim. Here we go. If look here. I can actually try and blow them all all these rocks up. Here we got two more spirit hearts. So now if you look in the top right hand corner, I've got a crap load of health now. That's a lot more than I usually have. And that's, this is just a second level, so I'm doing pretty well for my first uh, game recording. <laughs> I was kind of expecting this to go pretty terribly, but it's going well so far. Hopefully at the end of this one we'll get a HP up, because Isaac only starts with 3 heart, which isn't really that much in this game anyway. But there's lots of other things we can do in Crap. In some cases, uh, after you've defeat, defeated the end, uh, the end boss of each level, you can sometimes make a deal with the devil. And a deal with the devil is basically you give up either spare hearts or just normal hearts. And I lost way too much health there. You can give up either spare hearts or normal hearts in return for an item or a passive ability. Here we got brother Bobby, brother Bobby, brother Bobby will shoot for us and yeah brother bobby is a pretty good item to, to get it's not really an item but here is a mob trap room and here we can either we could we could waste a key in this and get i we there's a good chance of us getting an okay item but i'm going to keep it just in case we don't get a key next level for our item room in the basement no wait the next level will be caves i think i don't know I think we're in basement part 2 just now, but we're going to go all the way down to the the boss and see what boss we have. We have the Duke of Flies. The Duke of Flies is pretty easy. We're going to use our our, our uh, spacebar item and that boss is really easy. <laughs> Basically just because of that spacebar item, we just unlock an item. But here, here's another range up. And this is what I meant by a deal with the devil. We could go for that. I don't know what that does. Uh, or we could go for the cat. That'll give us nine lives, so like, it'll be like a nine up. But it'll take away all our health apart from one heart. And I don't really want to go through the rest of the game with only uh, with only one heart. So I'm going to take this one, I think. And a brimstone. Oh, this is this is this was actually I'd added in the Halloween update, which was a couple of days ago. Recording this is the second of November, so Halloween was two days ago. If you didn't know what Halloween update when Halloween was, but the Halloween update they added more items. They added a new character that you can play and unlock, or unlock and then play. But the brimstone, I actually heard about this is actually pretty overpowered just now. I think they're. They might. Uh, <laughs> see, this is going to be incredibly easy. 
they might actually, I have a feeling they're gonna nerf this because Brimstone is actually pretty overpowered in my opinion. But here we got a mini mush which is a, or a mini mush, <laughs> mini mush, mini mush, same thing. Uh, we got a speed and range up which is pretty good. That's an example of a, quite good example of a passive ability in this game. 